What's going on YouTube? Stu here as always, BC is outside. So I promised the YouTube universe that I was going to uh, make a video about my two modifications. Uh, and I said that I would post it by Sunday. Today is now Wednesday night at roughly 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <sighs> The level of frustration peaked off over the weekend. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make two separate videos. I'm going to talk about how easily the install was for um, the rear view camera. That came from um, 4D Tech. Very simple install, boom, 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 lovely. So what I'm gonna do this video is we're gonna talk about uh, the install, the level of ease, um, and then we're gonna get into the um, install on the Phoenix Automotive 12.1 Android media console, media bezel, whichever one you want to talk about. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into it and we paint the picture. It is last Saturday and it went down like this. <laughs> First things first, we've got to kick these mosquitoes off of me. <laughs> I live out in the country. All right, so the next thing is, is I believe these are eight T25 torque uh, bolts that need to come off. So I am simplifying it and I am removing all eight of them. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back and watch in amazement as I do this thing. I make it look so easy. And we're back. So the next thing that I have to do is remove this kick plate uh, that was secured by the T25 uh, bolts. And if you uh, look inside, there are two 10 millimeter bolts that are keeping the handle uh, connected. So what we're doing now is we're removing both of those 10 millimeter bolts. The good thing about Ford this F-150 is that it's one of three bolts throughout the whole truck. It's either 10 millimeters, 8 millimeters, or 7 millimeters. Mainly the inside is all 7 millimeters. Uh, the headlights are 8 or 10. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Make sure you don't lose those two because the kit does not come back with extra bolts. So you're going to take those off and put them to the side. And we're back again. Uh, so this part here, I'm just gonna take that old crusted. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, bye bye. All right. So now what we're gonna do is go get a comparison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> or busted. New hotness. Old busted. New hotness. What I'm doing here is there is a lot of wire. And so, obviously, before I secure the new rear camera handle, I need to feed the wire through the uh, tail bed and onto the driver's side. Hear me clearly, the driver's side of the truck. Now what I would have did is I followed the uh, wiring on the frame and I fed it all the way up to uh, the bezel. Uh, I think I have a video. Yes, I do. I have a video of where it is going to go through, but right now that's what I'm doing. I am acting like this is Little Shop of Horrors and I am feeding Beastie this wiring. Feed me Simo, feed me all night long. If you don't know what movie that's from, you're just too young. Well, one down, one to go. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, yeah, get that out of the way and boom. Rear view camera. So we are under the belly of the beast. So this is, um, this is the line that I have to run. This goes to the camera and we're gonna run it all the way up toward the front. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and some of these ties and I'm going to run it all the way up the frame. This is, this right here is the frame. So, I'm going to run it all the way up toward the front uh, and then I'm going to go under and through. I'll show you when I get there. Okay, so we are still under the belly of the beast. Um, and as you can see, there's my wire. Now you may be asking, okay, where does it go? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see that right there? That is a rubber grommet. And we are going to put a slit in it and run my wire through there and it will come out on the driver's side so i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about okay so um the grommet is somewhere under here so just to show you i'm going to put uh let's see take this off which is just secured by clips <clears throat> so we got that out the way okay then what you're gonna have to do is take this piece off and uh, this is also by clips well you gotta take the, the rubber piece off too let's see if I can do that yep so that's off move that out of the way I'm eventually gonna take this off too but all by clips. So what you do is pull this 
Should have took the mat out first, but. That's out of the way. Now, and there's the grommet. So we're gonna go through that underneath the carpet and into the console. Simple. All right, so as you can see, uh, my wires are running through. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is all this wire, I'm going to run underneath the carpet and into my medium. Now, um, this requires a ignition source, so I am going to run it directly to uh, my lighter. So that's where I'm running it to right there. I'm going to run that through there, plug it up, install this, put it all together, and check it out. All right. So, wires are here. Yellow wire connects to the one that says reverse, well, it says reverse video in so if you can notice as i pull the cap off here um it must be child poop because i can't get it off uh go go well anyway this is a female end this is a female end lo and behold they provided a double male attachment so click 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 now for the black wire that you saw down there the black wire is going to be where we feed uh power to so black wire female end black wire male end with positive and negative cables so again I'm going to connect that <clears throat> to this lighter source and we're gonna call that a day. Then I'm going to put this nice conglomerate back in there and we'll see what it does.